Hey everybody, this is Dr. Michael Shear with Learn Lodi. In this video, it's really exciting to go ahead and come to you all today talking about the new and improved extended range release of the locator overdenture implant system from Zest Dental Solutions. Many of us, including myself, including you, are very familiar with the locator overdenture implant system. It's been a workhorse in my clinical practice for the past several years. The 2.4 and 2.9 millimeter diameter Lodi system, often called a quote mini implant, which I tend to call it a narrow diameter implant, just because it's meant for narrow ridges. And it's been a workhorse in those really tight clinical spaces in my practice where really no other implant would really work. Certainly what was exciting about the Lodi system was taking that kind of conventional quote mini implant and putting on a locator abutment on it, which is amazing. I was never really a huge fan of the O-ball and O-ring. I was always saying, gosh, I would really love to have a locator on a narrow diameter implant. Lodi, when it first came out, hit that mark. Having a 2.4 and 2.9 millimeter diameter, 10, 12, and 14 millimeter length was really outstanding as a clinical application in my practice. Over the years, using those implants, I found an incredible success rate in my practice. Very few complications and tons of patients that we successfully treated, both here in my clinical practice and in coaching with patients and dentists all around the country and world. And what happens though is, is Zest slowly introduced a mid-range implant, kind of like a 3-4-3-5 connection. It was right around that 3.4 millimeter diameter, still using the standard locator abutment on the top. They had that available in multiple different cuff uh, heights and lengths as well. But recently, Zest has been working on this really incredible update for Lodi, the expanded or extended range indication for locator overdenture implant system. Just released is very exciting a 3.9 millimeter diameter, a 4.4 millimeter diameter, and a 4.9 millimeter diameter. They have a huge range of different lengths that are available. And I have my technique manual here just because I have to reference it. There are so many different options. When I go ahead and open it, I'm like, okay, I have my standard 2.4, 2.9, you know, 10, 12, and 14. Nothing's changed there. The original Lodi system for the 2.4 and 2.9 millimeter diameter is really identical. With the 3.4 millimeter diameter, Zest released that implant as kind of like meant for clinicians that say, listen, I really don't want a mini implant. I want a regular implant, which I am that type of clinician. In many cases, if I have the bone to put in a standard diameter implant, something above 3.0 or higher in diameter, I do that. Especially a big part of my implant practice is extracting and implant placement at the time of extraction. Especially for my full arch cases, that's my preferred option. Certainly I do have a fair number of edentulists, fully edentulous patients that are coming in asking for implants. Those patients are great for the 2.4 or 2.9 millimeter diameter. However, in those extraction socket cases, putting in a 2.4 or 2.9, uh, it works, but it's a little bit funky sometimes. What happens is, is, is the 3.4 millimeter really allows us to grab all the walls of the socket where the 2.4 and 2.9 just kind of grabs the apex of the socket. So hence why, you know, if I could place a slightly larger diameter, my personal opinion, it really worked out really well. So when they came out with the 3.4 millimeter diameter, they had it in a few different type of options that were available for the clinician. Nowadays, with the new re-release of the locator overdenture implant system, the expanded or extended applications, with all the new diameters, holy cow, look at all the different options I have available. I have an eight millimeter length, a 10, 12, and 14, just like original Lodi, and it's really, really incredible. So what happens is by being able to have even just that shorter eight millimeter height, is gonna have a huge implication for my clinical practice. What happens, especially when we're thinking about those clinical situations of where we're taking out, say, a mandibular or maxillary molar, having an eight millimeter length allows me to go ahead and be really safe and comfortable distance away from critical anatomy, things like inferior alveolar nerve, mental nerve, uh, or even sinus structures, nasal floors, things of that nature. 
By having a shorter and fatter dental implant, I can grab as much surface area as possible with the larger diameter uh, Lodi applications. So with the 3.9, 4.4, and 4.9, that makes sense. But Zest even went crazier. They said, we've got the 3.4 also in an 8 millimeter length. I was like, boom, that's really, truly incredible. So I'm super excited to go ahead and talk a little bit more about this in a clinical situation. And then on top of that, one thing that was really pretty cool is Zest also had an opportunity to redesign the actual locator or abutment that goes on top of Lodi. So if you take a real close look here at the, the Lodi or locator abutment, instead of having straight walls and then it kind of tips out really quick, which was the original locator Lodi design, they redesigned it to have a nice gentle sloping angle which is really ideal for those situations, especially when I'm seeing my Lodi patients, you know, five, six, seven, eight years later, you know, the tissue just kind of settles into that little cleft and sometimes it leaves a little bit exposed and it's hard for the patient to keep clean. Uh, most of my patients do pretty well, especially if they brush it and they use a water pick. But what happens is, is that that sloping angle is really ideal for being able to keep plaque and you know, food debris out from underneath there. Plus, for many clinicians that you know, place Lodi where it's a little bit supra-crestal, maybe above the gingiva as well, you know, having that nice gentle sloping angle is going to dramatically reduce the chance of getting any material caught underneath there during the actual locator pickup. So now thinking about also some of the benefits of the expanded range uh, Lodi applications, Zest also has made it incredibly affordable. So $179.99 or $180 for the implant, the abutment, and all of the parts and pieces that come in the box. Incredible. Even if you were to kind of price this and compare this to really affordable other implants out there, if you buy just the implant for $100, $150, $200 for just the implant. Then you have to buy the locator abutment, about another $100, $120, $130, somewhere in that neighborhood. Then you have to buy all the processing packs and everything, so it adds another $30, $40, $50. Bucks. You're starting to get a rate around that $300 to $400 price point per implant site. $179.99, $180 for everything. Think about how $180 for a single implant uh, abutment and parts and pieces can impact the clinical practice. If we take a look at that and we think we've got a patient sitting right here in the dental chair right behind me and I say, you know, you'd be a great candidate for an implant denture. Snap in, snap out. I show them the model and they go, wow, doctor, that looks amazing. And I show them the two implant model and I show them the four implant model. And they say, doctor, four has got to be better than two. I agree. But it's got to be a lot more expensive, right? I say, well, not necessarily. What happens is, is, is that if I have a dental implant that's $350 you know, per site versus one that's about $180 per site, that dramatically minimizes the amount of cost that's involved by adding just two additional implants. If a patient is willing and agreeing to go for the dental implant procedure, maybe I can be a little bit more price reasonable, price aggressive, or pass along the cost savings of, you know what, is it really that much more work just to drill two more holes and put in two more implants? Especially if I have an implant per site with the abutment and parts and pieces all packaged together in a small single price, almost half the cost of some other competitive systems out there. I think a little bit less about the actual price per site. And I think about the patient, improving the patient's quality of life. So a big part of my practice in just the past five years has been kind of that slow uh, evolution away from just the two implant overdenture into the four implant overdenture or the six implant overdenture. Especially in clinical situations where you say, I've got a maxillary case, you know, not much space above where maybe two, tooth number two and 15 are coming out. I can socket a three nine by eight millimeter Lodi in there, boom and pass along the cost savings. Put in four to six implants. Heaven forbid, maybe one implant doesn't take. I've got five others. I've got four others. Because a lot of times my patients want that palateless overdenture. By having at least four implants in there, I can, I can deliver that type of prosthesis for the patient. So when we're thinking about Lodi, what Zest hasn't changed about the new and expanded range uh, indication Lodi is the surface. The proven RBM surface, moderately roughened, very industry standard, the aggressive thread patterns, 
and the small uh, neck of the actual locator and low debuttment system. So it's pretty cool. As they went up in diameter, one thing you notice if you ever saw the 2.4 versus the 2.9 versus the 3.4 Lodi, you notice that the platform size of the locator abutment is all the same. So what happens is when you go to a much larger diameter implant, like the 4.4 uh, or the 4.9, Zest has increased the size of the implant but kept the platform the same size. In many ways that becomes what's called like a platform shift type of a dental implant, but what it's really done is, is it's just narrowed the neck quite a bit. Also the 4.4 and the 4.9 really uses what's really amazing about the original uh, 2.4, 2.9 Lodi with that very aggressive apical cutting edge surface as well as uh, sort of the progressive thread pattern. And they put that into the 4.4 and 4.9 in what appears to be a very nice and aggressive thread pattern which will be very helpful in maxillary and mandibular posterior ridge situations. So I gotta tell you, I'm super excited about the new expanded or extended range locator overdenture implant system from Zest Dental Solutions. I encourage you to check it out. Let's go ahead and take a look at the kind of breakdown of the equipment, the parts and pieces and things like that. Now this is Dr. Michael Shear with Learn Lodi. I hope this uh, video has been informative for you in terms of talking a little bit about the new uh, re-release, new expanded range, extended range uh, diameter system uh, from Zest Dental Solutions with the Locator Over Denture Implant System.